All right, guys, I'm back again. Um, decided I'm going to make a little tutorial video. I was asked uh, how I do my smoke or smoke in general. So I figured I would do a video on how I do smoke. Uh, and I was, was sent this picture as reference. Uh, so I figured why not go ahead and let's do, let's do this. Um, so I'm going to use that as my reference. Sorry for the glare on here. Let's see what oh, it's gonna stay on there. So let's turn it off for now. So I have this uh, aluminum panel right here. I normally buy my panels in a large sheet, and then I cut them to the size I want. So I just took this one. I'm gonna use this real quick. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is prep it. We're just going to scuff this panel and come back and we will lay out the candle and then do the candle, go back and do the smoke. So stay tuned. Okay, so I've got my panel ready to go here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to base this out in white because um, if you see on this right in here, I don't know how well you can see that. It's the red is very translucent, I guess you could say. So it's got the white shadow behind it. <clears throat> also, the way it's at, the red on the black is going to be really dark. And I don't want it being really dark because you really want to see the red. So, what we're going to do is we're going to push this in, go over with white, just so our red is going to be bright and we can see the candle and then we'll go in and we'll hit the spots give me one second okay we're back got the fans going so we go back in and we'll do this and what i'm using right now airbrush wise is my iwata hp ch so we're going in fogging this light in Pretty comfortable with the way that white is right there. So now I will change this out. Go in with my red, which I've already got my colors pre-mixed for this, which I am using the Tamco Intensity line. So what I just laid was the chalk white. Now I've pre-mixed my red this is my red red wine so I'll clean my brush out here real quick just get some of that white out add our red into the brush start hitting it. So like I said, I pre-mixed this already, so let's check. I'm gonna check the flow on it, I like it. All right, comfortable with the flow. So now I'm gonna go in and start with the red. Work that red in here.
getting that candle worked in here. <clears throat> and then once I get it to where I'm comfortable with my saturation, and I'm sure I got like the, the covers that I want, I'm gonna go back in. Now I'm gonna go in with my black. I'll show you my reference photo here. So on the, you'll notice that it's dark in here and it fades up. Then you have a little bit of a shadow here. We we'll get that curve and then a tiny little bit here. So I will go in and switch out my my red and put my black in. And then we'll go in and we'll hit that. Okay, so now I have my black in my airbrush and I've got it like extremely reduced. So we'll go in and start from the bottom. Which we know it's our, our darkest spot. And it kind of fades up. Really gonna do it. I get that fade in, and then really dark along the bottom. It kind of comes in at an angle to where our shadow is. You'll notice our shadow. do up here is because we've got on top of that candle you'll notice we have a little bit of this it's kind of a slight arc there <clears throat> so we will hit that kind of with a let's see actually I want one that has Dude, I'm gonna hit this right here. Because we want the black. I wanna be right here. Go like that, and you know, we have another little spot right here. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll hit this highlight on the side because if you notice, we got a little bit of a highlight on that side of the candle that we need to put in here. So we'll get the airbrush, put the white in, come back. All right, so I have my white in here now what I'm going to do is, because there is a there is a hard edge right there, so what I'm going to do is hit that hard edge on here with that white, and it will bring some highlights. So I'll take my mini ferro stencil here, and I'm going to just kind of put it here. I don't want to lay it against it. I don't want a super hard edge right there, because it's kind of a fade. that edge so we got that and then again we kind of have it up here and I have just a slight amount of white 
along this edge. is I'm going to unmask it. We'll come back. We'll clean up that candle. But this really isn't about the candle, but I just want to put it in there. So let's we'll unmask this and we'll see how we've got candles there. Here's my reference candle next to it. Next to it, so you can kind of see both of them. And now we'll go and we'll do the smoke. <laughs> 